All right, what's up everyone? How's it going today? So I'm here in a restaurant called Fukumaru to try a special dish known as fugu or puffer fish in English. Now if you know anything about puffer fish, it's probably that if it's not prepared right, it's very poisonous. So I'm taking a huge risk for this video. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. In Japan, you actually have to have been tra have trained for three years before you can prepare fugu. So I'm for a special treat tonight because it's also considered quite a high class dish. The first part of the course is the appetizer, fugu tsuke mono with an egg and edamame. <laughs> I just gave my viewers instruction in Japanese. So put the ponzu in put the ponzu in the fugu. Put the fugu in the ponzu and then you can eat it. It's a lot more chewy than I was expecting, but it's still really good. It's kind of a delicate flavor, so it's not super overpowering, but it still has plenty of taste. So as I mentioned earlier, the preparation for fugu is actually really important because if it's not prepared right, it can be really poisonous, lethal actually. So chefs have to train for two or three years to obtain a license and they actually can't sell a whole fugu in the supermarket here in Japan. And there's a ton of other rules and regulations surrounding this food actually because they don't want people to eat at home because that's actually where most fugu related accidents over the past 20-30 years have happened. So in front of me now is actually fuguage or this is like fried fugu. Mm. It's really good. It's like eating a mix of Karage and fugu, obviously. So it's really good, because I like both. Before the final fugu shabu shabu, I also had tempura style fugu, which was really good. So the last part of this whole course is actually fugu shabu shabu. So shabu shabu is basically like Chinese hot pot, if you know what hot pot is. And so you put the vegetables in, vegetables and in this case, fish, in the nabe yourself and let them cook for a little bit and then all the flavors kind of mix together to make something really delicious in the end so I'm going to put in a little bit of fugu with my vegetables so it looks like they gave me some mushrooms cabbage obviously fugu tofu, and onions. So I'm really looking forward to the way this comes out. So my nave has a healthy boil going on right now. And something I actually learned quite recently was that the royal family in Japan actually is not allowed to eat fugu. And that might be due to historical reasons, such as fugu being banned in the past, or the poisonous nature if not prepared properly. But that said, nowadays they're actually trying to prepare puffer fish without the tetrodotoxin in it, which is the poison. And it's, they can do that because the poison isn't actually naturally produced in the puffer fish. It comes from the puffer fish's diet and the puffer fish actually adjusts to the tetragotoxin over time. So if you were to, in theory, grow puffer fish without eating anything that has been exposed to tetragotoxin, you would produce puffer fish that are not poisonous. Oh. The nabe is really good. And So the so the nabe is really good. 
the way the different vegetables and the fugu, the flavors kind of mix, is super delicious. So, Kanabi is really great in the winter, so if you come to Japan, I would recommend trying. If you don't want to do fugu shabu shabu or nabe, then you're just going to a regular nabe place because you won't be disappointed. So I'm outside the restaurant now because as I was finishing up my fugu nabe, they told me that they were closing up soon, so I basically had to eat real quick and chug my wine, which I don't think is how you're supposed to drink wine, but anyway, on that note, I think it's a good time to end this video, so if you like to try Fugu someday, please let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to J Travels. Alright, see you next time. Matane!